He was seven days late exactly so he was born on the 21st of february so um my son is here he's visiting us in town and i asked him over the phone before we got here i said what do you want me to make you and he said breakfast so that's what we're cooking up today i'm gonna make my baby boy some breakfast we're gonna make my all-time favorite at home it's called my classic international egg holler at your girl we back with those ingredients and my son ain't he handsome y'all let's get it <laughs> we'll be right back. So let's talk about our ingredients. We're making our international egg. So I have some great organic non-GMO brown eggs. Classic in my house and my family. Um, I have some fresh greens. Organic non-GMO. I also have some spices that I have ground up cumin, coriander, pepper, cilantro, that's it. Um, and I also have some fresh veggies that I have chopped up. So we have some red onion, we have shallots, red pepper, and orange peppers. And can't have my international egg without my umami adding in some of those mushrooms for added flavor. Salsa, because I used to work in a restaurant being a chef, and people always ask for a side of salsa. Go figure. So I've got salsa popping off with us today. It's also organic, also non-GMO. And for some added flavor, fresh herbs. Gotta have the fresh herbs. And what's breakfast and my international egg without an avocado? Organic non-GMO. So these are the ingredients that we're going to be using today to make our international classic egg for breakfast. And can't have breakfast without a French baguette in my house. So Chris is going to help me cook today. We've got um, all our ingredients here. I'm going to remove some of these ingredients off the board so we can get it popping. Now, why do we call international egg international egg? So it's an international egg because I try to use almost all the ingredients that I have in my cupboard. Um, here's an egg bowl for you for your shells. There's some ingredients. So the first thing I do with my egg um, is I want to flavor my oil with those herbs. So I've got my thyme here. And I'm just gently going down the stem and pulling them out. My pan is already preheated. Uh, for eggs, you want to cook a medium to high heat. And again, I'm just getting some flavor here. I also have some sage and some rosemary that I will chop very quickly. Give me a knife. Anyone? 
So I'm just gonna chop it just to release some of those oils and I wanna have that flavor in my eggs. So you wanna do a nice fine chop because you really wanna have those eggs having that flavor throughout. But the most important step of what we're doing here now is we're actually flavoring our oil. So if you ever go to supermarkets, um, your farmer's markets, your international markets, you'll always see flavored oils, garlic, rosemary, all kinds of flavors. So this is something that you can do at home through your cooking process. Or you can fill up a jar, add your herbs in it, let it sit. For 48 hours, you've got your herb oil or your garlic oil. Very simple, very easy to do with ingredients you already have at home. How easy is that? So we've got the oil here. Mmm. We've got our oil here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add those veggies in with that herb oil. And if you can smell, can't you smell the herbs? Smells great. You, you smell the sage, you smell the rosemary, you can smell the thyme. It's just, it's just so aromatic. And I love that in my cooking. Because you have to eat with all five senses, right? You have to taste it, you have to touch it, you have to smell it, and you have to see it. But the aroma catches you first, right? So we're gonna add some veggies. We're gonna do the onions, and we're gonna do the peppers. That's pretty good. And then we're gonna take our spatula and we're just gonna move, we're just gonna move it around. I lost the camera. Oh my gosh, it smells mm -hmm. so good. Smell the breakfast already. So you just wanna incorporate that oil, which is the fat, to help your veggies cook. Okay. So we've added our, our first veggies. The next thing we're gonna do we're gonna add some mushrooms. Want some more? Yeah, add some more. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. Are y'all coming over to eat breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> All for us, none for you. That's right, incorporate those mushrooms. There you go. That's how we're doing it. Organic chef style, holler at you. So we have our mushrooms added in, and I feel pretty confident that the vegetables at this point are gonna cook the rest of the way through with those eggs. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so let's make sure that we have all our veggies. Um, you wanna have your veggies kinda like where you're gonna drop your eggs at. So you gotta plan all this stuff ahead of time, right? So you also want your eggs to hold to your vegetables because if not, the egg white will break. So it can't be that heavy. That's why they're diced a certain way, very small, and the mushrooms are sliced very, very thin so they can carry that egg. So let's go with one egg. And I'll show you what this looks like. My boy, look at my boy. So this is what you want. And at this point, leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Now why did you leave him alone? Sorry. So we're leaving these eggs alone for the simple fact that a lot of people mess up with their eggs because they touch them too quickly. You really have to wait till the egg whites set. And once they set, it will release from the pan so you can flip them over. Quick tips, organic chef. Holla at your girl, stick with me. I'm not gonna steer you wrong. <laughs> so the next step we're gonna do, we're gonna add those spices that we talked about. So do a chef style, up high. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> like salt bay? There we go. Gotta do the arm, baby. You gotta get that wrist going. Oh, do you see the elbow? <laughs> Holler at my boy. Is that all we need or we need more? So now, see 
season it up, right? Salt and pepper. Very simple. Okay. Same thing, my boy. He's killing me right now. He's killing me. Salt. Kosher salt, whatever salt that you have, just a tad bit. That's it. If you notice, I didn't season my veggies as I went through because I just want that hint of salt to accent all those vegetables, the herb oil, at the last finish. So this is it. We're just waiting for it to rise. And we're going to flip those bad boys over so we can get those eggs over easy on the other side. Nice. So our eggs are cooking and they're just about ready to flip over. So if you can see here, you can see how the egg whites are just about set. This is what you want. This is going to create that release from your pan so you can flip them over. So this is the true test to see if we can get it right. You see how I talked about that weight? And it's okay. Boom. Looks delicious. So at this point, you're just gonna let it set and brown on the other side. And it's okay if it's oozing like you see here. It all depends on how you like your eggs. This is all this is about. If you like them over easy, if you like them over hard, then you're gonna get that nice crisp sear and you're gonna cook it for three minutes at least to get that nice color on medium to high heat. Right now, it's on medium heat only. So I don't want it to color up too much, but just enough. So we're just about there. The egg is done. And what do I always say? Let's plate up. So let's get ready to plate up this egg and this, this quick, classic international egg breakfast that we got popping for my son here today. So here we go. Let him do it, right? Hmm. So we're going to put this at the edge of the plate and give it room for everything else? Yeah. Just bring it to it. There you go. There you go. Chef. He's a chef and don't know it. He's a chef and don't know it. Okay, so let's plate up. There you go, son. So this is our beautiful, beautiful international egg. Full of color, full of flavor everything that you want in the egg, right? So, let's plate it up, right? So, I've got some fresh greens. I think it's I think it's really really important to have something that's fresh, something that's raw with every meal that you eat. It's great for the digestive tract um, and it's good for your body, right? Digestive tract means immune system health, right? So it's always good to have something raw on your plate. So I've got some salad greens here, mixed greens, a mescaline green salad, um, greens and spinach. Buy it in your local grocery store. Um, buy it at your farmer's market, right? So to that, we're gonna get that bread crusted. So you wanna get a cutting board over there. And we got our serrated knife right. to cut our bread. Now how we cut, cut this bread, Mom? So I usually like to cut it on the bias so I get a nice thin slice, a nice diagonal cut. Uh, I, I like the look of it. So what you want to do is I just cut one end off. Okay. We're still going to eat that, put some butter on it, never waste anything. The ends of the bread have the most flavor. Shame on y'all who always throw away the ends of the bread. Stop throwing away your crust, guys. It's the best part. So we're gonna take this, and we can move this board over. We're gonna take this and we're just gonna cut in the bias. I'm clawing my fingers here. If you wanna get a close up cut, close up. So I'm just clawing my fingers back. And depending on how thick you want your, your bread to be, or how thick or thin, you be the judge of that by the size of your cut. That's it. 
So we've got our bread here. I've got some salsa for them eggs. Bon appetit! Quick, international egg breakfast. Fit for a king, my son. Thank you, mom. <laughs> Love you. Okay, so gotta have the taste test, right? You're on. Let's do it. Nice cookies here. Breakfast of the king right here. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Mama love her babies. And I don't like mushrooms. And I like these mushrooms taste good in here. All children, most children, some children don't like veggies. My son was one of them. So it it, it delights my heart that he's eating <laughs> my international veggie egg classic egg here today. Um, I developed this recipe several years back and my son really liked the eggs but I adapted and I added some fresh veggies in there which um, he hasn't had since I had the other recipe because I didn't update it after this will be edited out because I don't know what the hell I'm saying right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. bloopers <laughs> but, um, so here you are classic egg oh boy Okay, go ahead with yourself. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Great egg. Perfectly executed. Perfectly made. This is what's up. Get at you, girl. I'm out. So this is Organic Chef. Um, I had fun. I hope you enjoyed um, this class today about cooking my international classic egg recipe. You can find the recipe online on Taste on TV. Um, say hello to my boy, my baby boy, Chris, who came and helped out his mom cooking in the kitchen. You've seen him all smiles. Um, and to all you out there, hope you're living well, being safe with your friends, your family, your loved ones, your children. And hey, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're sharing the love and we're giving back and we're helping each other to get to a better place in life collectively together. This is what this is all about. So enjoy your day. Keep tuning in to Taste on TV with Organic Chef, hashtag first is best. Holler at your girl. Look, my son got to go eat. We out. Eat up. your girl organic chef holler at me we're gonna be cooking these great ingredients here today I've got some cabbage some super greens we've got some white button mushrooms I got an H that's farrow 